There's just no getting around the fact that a box on wheels is the most space efficient vehicle for moving people and cargo. As such, minivans, although not the flashiest things on the road, make the best family haulers. And among these beasts of burden, the 2015 Toyota Sienna stands out as a top choice. So let's go ahead and check out this 2015 Toyota Sienna. Now for the 2015 model year, the Sienna has been refreshed. Most of the changes can be found inside where there are higher quality materials, easier to reach controls, and a few new features. Now as far as styling goes on the vehicle, I don't think it's the flashiest minivan on the road. However, in the SE form of the Sienna, it does look quite good. And then on the SE form, they actually added LED daytime running lights. But overall, it's very unmistakably Sienna. Now here goes the key fob design for the 2015 Sienna. And it has been slightly refreshed. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the metallic trim going throughout the whole entire key fob, but that's just my opinion. But you do have your lock, unlock, and then your power sliding doors, as well as your power tailgate, and then your panic button too, of course. Now essentially, our Sienna we have here is the XLE with the 3.5 liter V6, which comes standard on the Sienna. And it's in this shoreline blue pearl exterior color. Now you do have smart key access on the driver and passenger door. Chrome door handles too. With a gray leather interior. There's your basic powered functions. Power driver seat, power recline, and your power lumbar. The seat designs themselves have gotten a makeover as well. Now stepping on into the vehicle, it has a pretty low step in height. It's a minivan of course, and it's a family hauler. So they have to keep the step in height pretty low here. Now here goes the new interior design of the 2015 Sienna. As you can see, it looks more high quality. It looks more advanced as well. It doesn't look as spartan or boring. And then you also have this new 4.2 inch TFT display right in the center screen right there. And then it actually displays what door is open or closed. And then it has a little animation. For example, I'll open up the power sliding door as an animation going on. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty nice little premium touch there. Now you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start, of course. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Six speed automatic transmission, pretty standard stuff here. Manual shiftability too. Putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines, which is standard on every Sienna now. And let's go ahead and turn on the lights. And the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors. You also do have blind spot monitoring. Halogen projector beam headlights with your halogen fogs too. High intensity discharge headlights are also an option. But pretty much the front end of the vehicle stays the same. Now under the hood you will find the 3.5 liter V6 that is pretty much carried over from the 2014 model year. It produces 266 horses with 245 pound-feet of torque. EPA estimates are rated at 18 in the city and 25 on the highway. This is a very smooth and powerful V6 and a very responsive one too. Not to mention it's also very reliable. Now competitors of the Sienna ranges from its long-term rival, the Honda Odyssey. You also have the Nissan Quest, also another long-term rival, the Chrysler Town & Country, as well as the Dodge Grand Caravan. 
Now pricing of the Sienna starts at the L model which starts at $28,600. Then you have the LE trim which starts at $31,330. Then you have the SE which starts at $34,900. Then you have the XLE which starts at $35,100. And then you have the Limited which starts at $41,650. Coming to the rear, you have your refreshed taillights with a rear window defroster and an LED third brake light. You also do have a roof rack too. Rear parking sensors as well. Like I said, EPA estimates are 18 in the city and 25 on the highway, and total vehicle price is $37,270. Power windows, power door locks, power exterior mirrors too, of course. Nice soft touch armrest. And let's go ahead and rev up the 3.5 liter V6. Very nice. Not that bad sounding at all. Now, as far as build and materials go inside of the Sienna, this is where they really improved on over the 2014 model year. Now, up here, you have a nice soft touch padded material where you might rest your elbows that replaces the very the very cheap hard plastic however the look of it looks like it's hard plastic but it really isn't up here you also have this nice portion which is nicely padded and stitched as well for a higher quality look and feel however there are still a few places where there is hard plastics but build quality um, is very improved inside of this car there's my not as many gaps as the 2014 model year so it's much better but there are still a few hard plastics all around but this is a minivan of course this is a practical family hauler this isn't a luxury car here now coming to your steering wheel design the steering wheel has been completely redesigned over here you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls and then your bluetooth phone controls voice recognition over here this is all going to control your little TFT display screen in the middle right there which I will get to in just a second and then you have your cruise control stock located right here but overall I like the new steering wheel design because you have this nice portion right here which is stitched but it's actually a fake molded stitching but it looks much higher quality than the previous generation um, steering wheel coming over here to the center stack controls you have tri-zone automatic climb control and basically, the knobs and buttons are even more simplified this time around. I don't even know how they could have made it even simpler, but they managed to do that. Um, you do have automatic dual zone climate control up on the front. Your fan speeds, of course. Front window defroster and your rear window defroster. And then your rear fan speeds, too. And then coming down here, you have an odd place for your heated seat controls. But um, I wish they would change the way the heated seat controls look they just look pretty low quality and then right here you have your USB port and your auxiliary input coming right here you have some cup holders power outlet storage cubby right here storage cubby large really large storage cubby right there another power outlet coming down here you also do have your cup holders which has ambient lighting inside and then coming right here you have your center console which has a pretty nice amount of storage available but overall there's lots of places to store things for the kids and the family now as far as visibility goes out of the vehicle it's pretty much the same here still lots of glass area outward visibility is also pretty good too and it's not that 
hard to see out of this vehicle. There's no sloping roof line or anything of that nature. Now, as far as driving dynamics go of the vehicle, it's still pretty much the same old Sienna how it was in the 2014 model year. It's still very comfort oriented. It's very smooth and compliant and soaks up road bumps very well. But however, the XLE version and the limited versions, all other, other versions besides the SE model have pretty numb steering, which is a Toyota trait here. But if I was to go with the Sienna, I would definitely go with the SE trim. It looks better and it drives better and the interior looks better as well. Now coming to the gauges as well as the TFT display screen here. I love this new TFT display screen here. And the rendering of it is crisp and clear. It's really good. And then you have on your information, of course you're going to have all your vehicle information like your trip odometer and then your average fuel economy too. You also do have your integrated compass here. And then you can change the radio and station as well. coming over here well. you can actually do some settings here. You can customize your settings like your eco indicator and then your pop-up display and then your accent color. Pretty neat. Then like I said, all of this is controlled by these set of buttons right here. And then coming to the gauges themselves, they also look pretty good. I'm not really sure if I'm a huge fan of the blue around them. I'm not really a huge fan of that. However, I do like the font of the gauges. They're very clear and easy to read. But overall, I love this new TFT display 4.2 inch screen. Now let's get to the main head unit here. This is Toyota's Intune system and it's better for the 2015 model year. It's their second generation of the Intune system. And the responsiveness of this touchscreen is superb. You also do have your different media sources including Bluetooth streaming audio, um, your auxiliary input, USB connection, all of that good stuff. Your optical disk drive is located right here. However, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the the way the buttons look on the side, it just looks a little aftermarket to me, in my opinion, but that might just be me. But over here on the sides, it's touch sensitive, it's not an actual button. And then right here you have your navigation. The navigation is very Lexus-like level of quality. It's nice and crisp and clear and easy to read. Coming to the rest of your apps, you have your Eco which gives you your average speed, your elapsed time, and your range. And then you have your messages, and then you have your driver easy speak as well, which you could talk to the rear passengers. It's a pretty neat little interesting feature. And then you have your weather, and then your maintenance schedules, like your engine oil, your oil filter, your tire rotation, all that good stuff. Live traffic too. But overall, the simplicity of the system is superb. Everything like your apps and all the things you want to access are located under apps. And then you can go to your home button and then your audio button and then you can change your different source. It's very easy to use once you get the hang of it. XM satellite radio too of course. HD radio on this bad boy and you also do have Grace Note. Coming up here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link, your power sliding doors, Conversation mirror with a sunglass container, but right now there's plastic covering it because this vehicle just rolled off the truck. And then you have your sunroof too. And then your power tailgate is located right there. Now as far as seating comfort goes, I'm not really a big fan of the new seat designs. I thought the previous generation or the previous model year, the 2014 Sienna, had better seats as far as the comfort goes of them. However, I love the new seats designs. They're much more modern this time around. You do have armrests on the sides right here. But overall, the side bolstering of them are much better. Um, however, I thought the the previous model year, the 2014 Sienna, had more cushion on the seats and they felt more couch-like, which I think is an important factor for a family hauler. But um, they are definitely a lot more supportive than the other seats in the 2014 Sienna. Coming over here you have your parking sensors button, your blind spot monitoring, and then you have your storage cubby right there, your traction control off. 
So overall, it's a very nicely updated cabin here, and the Sienna overall should still please many customers. So overall, it's a very nicely updated cabin here. And it's definitely a lot better than the 2014 Sienna's build and material quality and the overall design of it. And I'm going to shut down the Sienna. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat passenger space as well as the trunk capacity. Coming back here, you have a decent amount of cargo space. The rear seats also do fold down the maximized cargo room. And you actually have the option of power folding third row seats. And then to fold down these rear seats, you just follow the steps given. But overall, cargo capacity is one of the best in the class. Back here, you also do have a 12 volt power outlet. Power tailgate too. Power sliding doors. Now stepping on back here, the step in height is pretty good. It's a minivan, of course. And then there's an abundance amount of rear seat legroom back here. I feel very comfortable. You also do have an armrest back here. And then the second row seats also do recline. Now some pretty notable features you can get back here include these rear sunshades and then you can also get a rear seat DVD entertainment system. And then also, you can also get a footrest and they call that the lounge seating. And then right here, you also do have your cup holders. Very practical family hauler here. Now back here, they didn't really improve on the materials back here. It's pretty much the same. This portion right here looks hard plastic. I mean, it looks soft to the touch, but it is hard plastic. And then up here, of course, is hard touch. But they do give you an armrest back here, so I don't even know why you would need this to be soft to the touch. And then you also do have an armrest right here. This middle seat is actually removable, and then you can have captain's chairs back here. But overall, it's a very comfortable experience. Power passenger seat with power recline. Your glove box compartment. Then you also do have a little storage compartment right here, which is wrapped and a very high quality material. Alrighty. So roomy, comfortable, well built, and offered in several different trim levels. The 2015 Toyota Sienna minivan is an excellent choice for larger families. And the fact that it finally now has an interior that is class competitive makes it even that much better. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews. Very nice. Not that bad sounding at all. Now, as far as build and materials go inside of the Sienna, this is where they really improved on over the 2014 model year. Now, up here, you have a nice soft touch padded material where you might rest your elbows that replaces the very, the very cheap hard plastic. However, the look of it looks like it's hard plastic, but it really isn't. Up here, you also have this nice portion, which is nicely padded and stitched as well for a higher quality look and feel. However, there are still a few places where there is hard plastics, but build quality um, is very improved inside of this car. There's my, not as many gaps as the 2014 model year, so it's much better. But there are still a few hard plastics all around. But this is a minivan, of course. This is a practical family hauler. This isn't a luxury car here. Now, coming to your steering wheel design, the steering wheel has been completely redesigned. Over here, you besides it's touch sensitive, it's not an actual button. And then right here, you have your navigation. 
the navigation is very Lexus-like level of quality. It's nice and crisp and clear and easy to read. Coming to the rest of your apps, you have your Eco, which gives you your average speed, your elapsed time, and your range. And then you have your messages, and then you have your driver easy speak as well, which you could talk to the rear passengers. It's a pretty neat little interesting feature. And then you have your weather, and then your maintenance schedules, like your engine oil, your oil filter, your tire rotation, all that good stuff. Live traffic too. But overall, the simplicity of the system is superb. Everything like your apps and all the things you want to access are located under apps. And then you can go to your home button and then your audio button and then you can change your different source. It's very easy to use once you get the hang of it. XM satellite radio too, of course. HD radio on this bad boy and you also do have Grace Note. Coming up here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link. Your power sliding doors, conversation mirror with a sunglass container, but right now there's plastic covering it because this vehicle just rolled off the truck. And then you have your sunroof too. Now as far as build and materials go inside of the Sienna, this is where they really improved on over the 2014 model year. Now up here you have a nice soft touch padded material where you might rest your elbows that replaces the very the very cheap hard plastic however the look of it looks like it's hard plastic but it really isn't up here you also have this nice portion which is nicely padded and stitched as well for a higher quality look and feel however there are still a few places where there is hard plastics but build quality um, is very improved inside of this car there's my not as many gaps as the 2014 model year so it's much better but there are still a few hard plastics all around but this is a minivan of course this is a practical family hauler this isn't a luxury car here now coming to your steering wheel design the steering wheel has been completely redesigned over here you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls and then your bluetooth phone controls voice recognition over here this is all going to control your little TFT display screen in the middle right there which I will get to in just a second and then you have your cruise control stock located right here but overall I like the new steering wheel design because you have this nice portion right here which is stitched but it's actually a fake molded stitching but it looks much higher quality than the previous power sliding doors Now stepping on back here, the step in height is pretty good, it's a minivan of course. And then there's an abundance amount of rear seat legroom back here. I feel very comfortable. You also do have an armrest back here. And then the second row seats also do recline. Now some pretty notable features you can get back here include these rear sunshades and then you can also get a rear seat DVD entertainment system. And then also, you can also get a footrest and they call that the lounge seating. And then right here, you also do have your cup holders. Very practical family hauler here. Now back here, they didn't really improve on the materials back here. It's pretty much the same. This portion right here looks hard plastic. I mean, it looks soft to the touch, but it is hard plastic. And then up here, of course, is hard touch. But they do give you an armrest back here, so I don't even know why you would need this to be soft to the touch. And then you also do have an armrest right here. This middle seat is actually removable and then you can have captain's chairs back here. But overall, it's a very comfortable experience. Powered passenger seat with power and the overall design of it. And I'm gonna shut down the Sienna. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat passenger space as well as the trunk capacity. Coming back here, you have a decent amount of cargo space. The rear seats also do fold down to maximize cargo room. And you actually have the option of power folding third row seats. And then to fold down these rear seats, you just follow the steps given. But overall, cargo capacity is one of the best in the class. Back here, you also do have a 12 volt power outlet. Power tailgate too. Power 
power sliding doors. Now stepping on back here, the step in height is pretty good. It's a minivan, of course. And then there's an abundance amount of rear seat legroom back here. I feel very comfortable. You also do have an armrest back here. And then the second row seats also do recline. Now some pretty notable features you can get back here include these rear sunshades and then you can also get a rear seat DVD entertainment system. And then also, you can also get a footrest and they call that the lounge seating. And then right here, you also do have your cup holders. Very practical family hauler here. Now back here, they didn't really improve on the materials back here. It's pretty much the same of your Eco, which gives you your average speed, your elapsed time, and your range. And then you have your messages, and then you have your driver easy speak as well, which you could talk to the rear passengers. It's a pretty neat little interesting feature. And then you have your weather, and then your maintenance schedules, like your engine oil, your oil filter, your tire rotation, all that good stuff. Live traffic too. But overall, the simplicity of the system is superb. Everything like your apps and all the things you want to access are located under apps. And then you can go to your home button and then your audio button and then you can change your different source. It's very easy to use once you get the hang of it. XM satellite radio too, of course. HD radio on this bad boy and you also do have Grace Note. Coming up here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link your power sliding doors, conversation mirror with a sunglass container, but right now there's plastic covering it because this vehicle just rolled off the truck. And then you have your sunroof too. And then your power tailgate is located right there. Now as far as seating comfort goes, I'm not really a big fan of the new seat designs. I thought the previous generation or the previous model year, the 2014 Sienna, had have smart key access on the driver and passenger door. Chrome door handles too. With a gray leather interior. There's your basic power functions, power driver seat, power recline, and your power lumbar. The seat designs themselves have gotten a makeover as well. Now stepping on into the vehicle, it has a pretty low step in height. It's a minivan of course, and it's a family hauler. So they have to keep the step in height pretty low here. Now here goes the new interior design of the 2015 Sienna. As you can see, it looks more high quality. It looks more advanced as well. It doesn't look as Spartan or boring. And then you also have this new 4.2 inch TFT display right in the center screen right there and then it actually displays what door is open or closed and then it has a little animation for example I'll open up the power sliding door has an animation going on so that's pretty cool I think that's a pretty nice little premium touch there now you do have push button ignition just put your foot on the brake hit the button to start of course Now essentially, our Sienna we have here is the XLE with the 3.5 liter V6, which comes standard on the Sienna. And it's in this shoreline blue pearl exterior color. Now you do have smart key access on the driver and passenger door. Chrome door handles too. With a gray leather interior. Here's your basic powered functions power driver seat, power recline, and your power lumbar. The seat designs themselves have gotten a makeover as well. Now stepping on into the vehicle, it has a pretty low step in height. It's a minivan of course, and it's a family hauler. So they have to keep the step in height pretty low here. Now here goes the new interior design of the 2015 Sienna. As you can see, it looks more high quality. It looks more advanced as well. It doesn't look as Spartan or boring. And then 
You also have this new 4.2 inch TFT display right in the center screen right there. And then it actually displays what door is open or closed and then it has a little animation. For example, I'll open up the power sliding door as an animation going on. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty nice little premium touch there.